So I thought I might do some sort of update on Mutt since I haven't done one in so long. And I have started working on him again. Um, well, for one, I finally rigged up a air filter setup for this Makuni carb that I put on. Uh, there's a little collar there that I turned and it fits over a PVC elbow, inch and a half PVC, and it runs up here like that. I haven't even got any of that glued together. I just put a hose clamp around the ones that I thought just stay together. Um, what else? Uh, I blew up another wheel. See, so yeah, I have a replacement on there now. I, uh, well, these keys, keyed wheels really suck. I blew the center right out of this one. It came right off the hub. That was quite something. I was in quite a hole, too. I had to pull myself up with the winch. Uh, excuse the wind here. It's probably windy. Anyway, plan is to um, make some hubs for these five lug rims and hopefully stop killing these really weak one inch hubs, one inch keyed wheels i've got the material over there to do it i just gotta do it but i'm not really sure if i'm gonna use these rooms or not because i did not realize when i traded for them that they are as wide as they are i think they're about they're actually like two inches wider than the rims i have on here and it's only an inch to either side so it's just gonna make the inside of them sort of swell out some i'll have to put one on and see if i like it or not um, I worked on the clutch, put a new pivot on the clutch. Um, the biggest thing I've been working on is the brake in here. And I went and bought one of those nice $30 go-kart calipers in there. And I thought it was going to be wonderful and great. I made myself a rotor and everything, and I put a crap ton of leverage on it. I mean, you got that little thing there from pivot to the lever, or the pivot to the linkage. Up to there, that's that's quite some leverage there. I thought that'd be really good. You've got a bunch of leverage in there, but no. This thing barely stops it from rolling down a hill. So there's that. Let's see if I get a better view of it in there. Not really. Yeah, you can see my cute little linkage I made. So that was a waste of time, although I don't think I'll waste that go-kart caliper. I think that'll actually go on a mini bike. It should work just fine for that. But what I'm going to wind up doing is going with hydraulic brakes um, off of a Kawasaki EX250, something like that. Some of the Creepy Crawler recommended to me on the uh, Ohio Off-Road Mowers group. Um, let's see, what else? I have shift keys coming. My third and fifth gear are not so happy. I probably have to file the inside of those gears to get the new shift keys to grab good not ruin them. I plan on reverse engineering some shift keys, those shift keys when they get here, so I could make myself some. Seems like I could make some out of some, like, quarter by quarter, uh, 5160. 5160? Some kind of spring steel, something like that. And just machine them out, and they turn out pretty good. But I'll have to look into that. Um, I think I altered the gas pedal. I, uh, pressed out the bushing that was in this, and uh, turn this and press the end of it in there. So it all turns. It's all really, really sturdy now. It's nice and smooth, you know. Oh, this is kind of goofy. My throw of my gas pedal doesn't actually match the throw of my uh, carburetor slide. Um, what else? Oh yeah, this oppie needs a new oppie. The rings are terrible. This thing smokes so bad. Let's see if it'll start. That's about, but it smokes pretty bad. I think with as low as the compression is in this engine, it just doesn't run very well at all. And with my next hobby that I'm planning on getting, I don't know if I'll even use that carb. We'll see, I guess. It's hard to tell if my carb's good when my engine is bad as it is, is as bad as it is, you know. Um, well, I think this video is long enough. I'm sure none of you actually have watched this. Anyway. If you are watching this, I hope to see you at Haspen, because I'm sure you'll be one of those guys. So, uh, take it easy.